Hi, it's possible within RealSmart to create links to other web applications or indeed other websites and you can do that in a variety of ways. One way is through the widget menu, this area on the right here. Um, the other way is by adding a category of links to the control panel at the top and I'm going to demonstrate that just that for you now. So we go first of all into the WordPress dashboard and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the media and the picture that is that will be used as the icon for this link. So if I just go to media here, add new and then drag and drop from my desktop the picture that I'd like to upload. So this one's just the real smart icon. The icon that you upload needs to be 20 by 20 pixels uh, in size ideally. You can do other sizes but you'll need to make sure that they're all the same sort of size. So now we've got the icon in there, if I just go to edit, then I can see the URL of that media item here. So if I copy that, then I've got that ready for later. So now if I go to links and link categories, I can create a category of links. So at the moment we've got Google Apps, Real Smart and WordPress. I'm going to make another one called, uh, let's say, Staff Apps and add the new link category. There we go, Staff Apps. So now I'm going to add a link and apply it to that category. So add new, I'm going to give it a name and we're going to call it uh, Real Smart Help. You don't need this one by the way because it's already built into your system. But we put in the URL http colon slash slash, it says don't forget the http help dot realsmartcloud.com. And we're going to apply it to the category staff apps. We want it to display in a new window, so we don't want it to uh, open on top of the current website that we're in. And then the image address is the URL of the file that we've already uploaded. So if we scroll back up to the top, we can click add link, and that link has now been applied to that category. Now we need to add that link to um, the control panel. So we go back to uh, the control panel here, smart panel, and then we can choose for staff apps to display the staff apps category, save changes, and then when we look at the site, you see there's an icon here with a drop down for staff apps and real smart helps there. So for other apps, all you need to do is to add the links and apply them to the category staff apps, and exactly the same would apply to different categories of links. Okay, good luck with that.